सो हाई द दिस वेलकम टू गैज फिक्स एंड आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई मेकिंग न्यू वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल मल्टीपल एप्स एंड एट वंस ऑन योर विंडोज टेन पी सी और लैपटॉप प्रीवियस लाइट ऑफ टैप नी नाइट एंड नी नाइट प्रो लाइक स्टैप यू कैन गो टू दोस वेबसाइट एंड क्लिक अ बांच ऑफ ए पी केस और आई वुड से नॉट ए पी के दिस ई एक्सी फाइल्स एंड मेक अ बांच ऑफ देम एंड क्रिएट वन एक्जीक्यूटल फाइल्स एंड डाउनलोड दैट क्लिक ऑन द ई एक्सी एंड दे विल इंस्टॉल एंड डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑल द एप्स ऑन योर ओन दैट यू है इम्बेडेड इन दैट ई एक्सी सो टूडे एम गॉट टाक अबाउट समथिंग एल्स एंड दिस इज टोटली न्यू आई हैव जस्ट फाउंड आउट आई हैवन डिवे ट्राइड आउट इट आई एम गोना ट्राइड आउट विथ यू गाइज सो दिस इज कम्प्लीटली न्यू फॉर मी इट्स काइंड ऑफ लाइक नाइट शो बट इट इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ एप्स आई थिंक अ लॉट अ लॉट मोर सो एंड द वेबसाइट ऑल्सो लुक्स गुड आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन द वेबसाइट फॉर वन एंड आई वज इम्प्रेस बाई दैट presentation style so today i'm going to talk about it so if it's a first time here or in case you've just forgotten my name is rahul you are watching gadget fix so let's get started so hi guys as you can see i'm on my laptop screen it is running windows 10 20 of force later version that's 20h2 it is in developer preview and as you can see the new start screen with blur effect and stuff it looks good and you guys are not get, gonna get the update few days later but when the official update release to the common people i will just push out a update with video about what are the differences 24 and what are the advantages what are the disadvantages etc so that's a different video so let's come to this topic so as you can see uh, just you have to just go, do two stuff like first go to the chrome browser and there is a github page that i'll link below in my video description it's a microsoft's official github page and you can just go to their site and in the github you can just get a file called microsoft desktop app installer or apex bundle actually uh, if you guys are on the developer people the stable build or the release preview or you are just not in the inside app you are just using windows like a common people you guys can't able to use this package manager so it's in the fast ring or now what they call dev channel in there only this is present so if you just want to make work on uh, work the whole package manager thing you just have to install this apex bundle on your windows 10 pc or laptop and it will work like a charm so first you have to install this thing and then you have to go ahead so i just have downloaded this apex bundle as you can see it's getting downloaded is 11.1 megabit only so yeah so it's downloaded i think so yeah this app installed as you can see and trust the microsoft store app just update this thing it will take a little bit of time as you can see it is showing updating app package that's pretty good so this is continuing so just go ahead and got go to install this is our main destination the website is called winstall.app and remember that if you do not install this package this whole thing will not work you need to do this previous step from the github so yeah so now you have come to the done, you have done the with the github stuff and you have come to winstall.app as you can see just enjoy the beauty of this page it's beautiful like the theming the color all are awesome so there is another uh, service called ninite.com let me show you uh, ninite.com and if you just go to ninite and ninite.com also does the same stuff takes multiple exe files create into one and if you click on that single exe file it will download the other apps too this is the ninite.com site as you can see there are a lot of apps but not much there are some as you can see what you have to do is just select some apps like a couple of stuff and just go and get your ninite that's it so download it and make a bunch i'll make a video about this later so just come back to install and close tabs to the right now as you can see build install windows as quickly as windows package manager windows package manager is important so we installed that previously from github and as you can see thousand plus apps and growing there are lots of it now there are some sections of this web page that i want to show you that there are popular apps if you just go to view all there are a lot of apps like a lot as you can see dot net core dot net framework like one password 7z says so alpha version adobe acrobat reader and there are advanced installer 
agent alchemy viewer then there are amazon shine amazon music there are anki there's a flash card app which is really important then there are atom audacity authy and other stars like auto dark mode and everything so yeah that are present suppose you just want to install one app like as you can see there is also auto of c which is really important like a digital forensing app that used to test the hard drives and stuff so forget that there is a suppose this auto dark mode i want to download this it is a down exe file if you just click on download it will just download like a normal exe file. it is a 2 mb file as you can see it is getting downloaded and if we just click on this it will be installed like a normal executable file but this is not our main issue we have come to this website to check or to do or install multiple apps at once to save our time so just forget it there are two steps that you can do either you can select some apps from here like if you just select plus these two then you can get one password and stuff and you can make a script from here like here let me show you not from just here and just go and find some package like here are some packs that you can do. There are lots of pack but there are some important ones from the home page work from home web browser essential tool school suppose you want to go to the school pack school pack has some apps like evernote LibreOffice, QCalc, zoom microsoft teams color etc etc so suppose we just want to install some like uh if we just wanna if we just wanna go down go down and we can just install some apps at ons like all of these with this script or you can download dot bad file but remember we have to install the package manager first so you can this is the script for the command prompt and if you just click here show the powershell script you can get the partial script that's your personal preference i personally like command prompt so suppose i don't want all these apps so i can just select some of this like click out you can get notion standard notes then you can get quick look all these apps and suppose we can take another app like simple so there are the five apps just if you try to just create, create pack you have to log into twitter that's it you can just create pack like this or you can go and generate script that what i'm gonna do there's a script we can get just copy the script just copy it here or you can just download that bad file to run it in the command prompt directly or you can copy the script both does the same job so i've copied it so now i can just go to cmd and i can just run the administrator i don't really know if it no need the administrator permission but i'm taking it and copy this so let's enter so it will take some time as you can see a blue line has come and it is installing those apps like qcalc it is downloading from github and stuff it is a whole package manager stuff just like linux if you guys some of you guys have installed linux apps on terminal this is just the same thing some script and they does the job for you and it also looks pretty cool like in the script and stuff so what i have to do we have to wait for some time like depends on the app size like the qcalc is getting downloaded and it is a 52 mb app it even shows the percentage of the app how much it has downloaded like it has downloaded 13 megabyte out of the 52 megabyte so yeah it is going to getting downloaded so yeah let's just minimize this for some time and let's just explore the other stuff that we can get on this side like there are a lot of packages like if we just go to gaming packages suppose they have steam discard epic game launcher twitch app nvidia express like the nvidia driver stuff origin uplay geforce now play night valorant moonlight OBS a lot of apps and you can also search for an app i think i really don't know if you can search or not suppose i search for apps some called like light shot i don't really know if it's available or not uh like no the app is not available so all apps are not available but the common ones are pretty much available like as well as there is visual studio code and stuff light shot is actually a screenshot app that i use but it certainly is not available suppose we just want to search like uh krita krita is available as you can see it's a painting program some linux tools use this some windows tools also use this you can also search for photo editing apps like Keen, which is kind of a photoshop alternative and stuff 
then we can search for I don't really know get a life get a life as you can see there are lots of the represent and as you can see we are getting a prompt like an installation prompt it will install like typical apps and but the bad thing is that I have noticed is that as you can see starting package install it is doing the installation the bad thing is that uh, this thing pops up for the Windows installation and it's preparing to install but when in midnight you just don't have to do anything click one button and go to sleep it will work as you can see so you said when Windows configure calculate and stuff we just simply don't need these on the the night it is just that simple so it is gonna install and i think every time it will ask for permission which is pretty annoying i think i don't really know let's see what happens so it is running so just keep it somewhere here and see the other stuff like you can just go to view all a lot like a lot with <laughs> funny names like this blah blah redistribute server if I just wanna go to see this pack, what are inside? Like the well, visual distributable code, like C plus 12, 13, 15, 17, 18, a lot, like all are present here. And that thing is installed. Now they're installing Notion, as you can see. And if we just go to start screen, as you can see, we have this calculator app that is installed here. And this to initial loading, it is taking some time. I don't know why. And as you can see. This is a calculator app, a good calculator app, I'd say, with all those features and a lot of stuff. Like it's a high quality calculator, as you can see. Okay, it's actually a GTK app, which is pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see, it has also installed the Notion, I think, and in this way, it will install all the apps. So, yeah. It will take some time. As you can see, we are now installing standard node, which is a huge app, 101 MB. So that's the thing. I think you have got the idea. And yep, I hope you have got the idea. So that's the thing. You can just select any script and just go here, copy the whole script, and get the job done. So that's it for now. And I'll also give the script link, the first one, the apex file which you need to install on your machine before even trying to use this package manager stuff so yeah i'll give the link in my description box so that's it for now hope you like the video like share subscribe hope to see you in my next video signing off thank you bye bye